Hi there, Gemini. Looks like you're having a an in-between moment. There's a choice that you're needing to make here, but you're definitely taking your time. You could be feeling very straddling of the fence at this time. Not really sure. Not really sure what to do about this partnership. There's someone in your environment. It doesn't have to be love, Gemini, but it could be. We do have love on the bottom. I'm just seeing here. I'm asking where you are because your energy, just the first card out, the in-between. It's like in-between worlds. At the point of creation, but it could go either which way. So we're needing to see... Okay, I'm seeing snakeskin here, by the way. Um, we're needing to see... Maybe you need more information before things start formulating for you. Because you're at the point of creation. You're standing right at a portal, right at a gateway. But you're straddling some type of a fence. So Gemini, the snakeskin reference, it does feel like you are evolving. There's an evolution at hand here. You've been shedding old ways of being. So this could feel a little uncomfortable. That's probably why you're sitting right at the portal wondering if you're going to take a step through or not. Because there's also an, a detachment in this energy. You're detaching from your old self, from your old ways. Okay. Um, dragons may be of significance as well. So you have an obstacle to overcome about a gift. So this is giving or receiving a precious gift, but we're straddling this currently. Okay, so what is this energy about co-creation? Where's Gemini in this? Because you're being asked to create with a person. Very well may be that you are highly supportive to an individual. Whether or not you're going to give them this gift, or you could be on the receiving end of this gift, but see this um, kind of uncomfortable tension building is what it feels. There will be a release, by the way. So we do have co-creation. The most difficult part of the situation is over. Well, thankfully, we have a rainbow here. So there's a reward at the end of this rainbow. Where's Gemini in this? You're the secret admirer energy. Wow. So you are watching someone. There's a friend here, secret admirer friend energy. Who's the other energy here? Fear worries. Who's the other energy in Gemini's reading right now? Mm, yeah. Keeping life in balance is the person. Disappointment. Why are they keeping life in balance? Okay, lots of energies here. So a short journey and kicking up the efforts and money. Oh, money matters. Danger in money matters. Okay. Okay, yeah. Dog, close friend. This is somebody very close to you, Gemini. You are kind of watching this person. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. But you are watching this person who is appearing to have some sort of a difficulty. This could be an earth sign, maybe Sagittarius energy for some. We also have Libra. But it's looking like this person is definitely needing to kick up their efforts, and they know this. They could be having difficulty in doing so. There could be an energy also this person struggles with about how much they do and how much they receive for what they do. So I feel like this is someone who is needing to really bring into balance the amount of effort that they do as well as, did I just say this? As well as how to receive for those efforts. So I feel you've had this conversation with this person before, Gemini. This is definitely something that's been on repeat or you feel this person keeps repeating the same learning experience and they're not really catching on or they haven't yet. 
So now you're sitting here watching someone in admiration, hoping they're going to get their life in order. Of course, sometimes readings are vice versa, okay? So if you're an experienced tarot watcher, <laughs> the viewer here, experienced spy, then you know that sometimes it can do that. So whoever you are in the vibe here. Yeah, this person is um, really needing to balance their finances because they're having a big difficulty. They could be having trouble even. Some of you, they're having trouble traveling. This could be, you know, vehicular fees, <laughs> even maybe gas. Or there's some sort of a trip that's needing to be paid for. Someone's having difficulty with that, Gemini. All right. That's a side note because mostly this is someone who's trying to get themselves out of a predicament and it can go either which way this is someone that you are kind of observing i feel you want to know that this person can get themselves out of a, a, an issue um i'm hearing a control issue okay maybe somebody has a control issue but this is someone really needing to keep their life in balance and probably doesn't know how to do that so here you are like, I believe in you. I, I believe that you can do this. This is Gemini's energy. So what is this that is not so supportive in the Bridget Creative Spark? Okay. Peace and harmony is not happening just yet, probably because of the tension that I've been picking up here, Gemini. And it says you feel something is lacking love, money, and goals. We have happiness. Yeah. So you're not happy. I mean, I feel like mostly you appear to be very supportive to a person. You appear to be loving in that way. Why don't I, I want to pull this and see if any messages want to come out with this for you. And then we'll move to the tarot, my dear. Show me Gemini in this in between. Ah, uh, the five of water. Oh my gosh, it feels like a very quiet, like private experience that you're having here. Like you really are hoping that something is going to work out, but it's quietly a yeah, journey. So it's one of the major cards in the deck. It's a journey. Often this indicates someone who is coming of age, who's ready to branch out, be a real man or a real woman or a real them or whatever they are right you get me that's the experience here someone's experience has been robbed of them or maybe you feel this way about this person like wow you really never ever had a chance to grow up have you and i see that you cry for someone silently or quietly or you just really pray for them quietly or silently and praying okay wishing well let's say it like that you wish well for someone like, wow, I really hope you get to go on this journey, this trip. I hope that you can get your work life in balance, your money in order so that we can go on this trip, so that you can go on this trip that you want. This is what this feels. So who's the person in the in-between that we're talking about with Gemini? Okay, the seven of water. This person is very flowy. This is someone who's kind of like a creative space energy. They may have been riding on this energy for quite some time. It's more so I go where I feel led. I go where I feel guided. I don't really pay attention to maybe material with this bear. Show me the person in this energy. Maybe it's a water sign. So the nine of earth is here. I do love this. It's giving very alchemical energy right now. Yeah, journey as well. This is someone who's definitely the nine of air. So two nines. This person is coming of age, Gemini, or really needs to, you know, find their sense of self through this process. There's a person in this reading who's growing up who's maturing even if they're an adult they could be maybe having like a quarter life crisis or a midlife crisis and having to start over it doesn't even have to be a crisis it could just be that someone is ready to start over and you're finding your training wheels again 
This could be your child, Gemini. Mm. The Queen of Earth. The Emperor. Yeah, exactly. Someone is growing, experience more growth. They are just learning how to understand their power and their control. They need to take control, actually. They may not have been able to up until this point. Now it's time for this person to take off the training wheels, or it's going that way. So let's see what this supportive energy is for you in Gemini's reading. What is this supportive energy? This reading is feeling a lot like your past couple readings. If this is romantic, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like this person in this reading is someone that you care about. So regardless if it's romantic or not, it's definitely someone who's in your heart space that you think about that you wish well for. That's who's in this reading. If this is romantic, you're really hoping that somebody grows up and they get their life in order so that you guys can progress. You're talking about progress. You could be thinking about marriage, what that looks like with this person, if it's viable. We do have a diamond here. Is this person going to be formed under pressure or not? There's absolutely pressure here. And you know this. So this is kind of like a page of fire. Supportive energies is that. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Rebirth and death energy as well. Is this experience going to form this person into a more mature version of themselves? This is what's happening. So this transformation is going to build up someone's confidence and competence. And whoever's going through this you are faced with growth no matter how the cookie crumbles. You are going to grow through this pressure. It's going to happen. It cannot be avoided. Why a secret admirer here? I feel like you admire someone's strength that they don't even see in themselves, Gemini. You, you see in someone, or this is you. They could be feeling this way about you, but... You see in someone this beautiful, glorious strength, this fortitude, this magnitude. They are very charming. This is a person that they know how to talk to people. Yeah, we've got like a sage energy here. It's healing. But I feel like this person, you, you see them as this, like you are very... You have so much potential. Everybody sees it, but you don't. You're the one who doesn't see this potential. Why is that? It's so frustrating that you don't see how, how attractive you are, how you have these beautiful, glorious abilities and talents that maybe not everybody has. And why do you just waste it? Why do you just throw it away? Like This is what this reading feels like today. Where's Gemini in the secret admirer? So, yeah. The four of water is here. This indicates that... <laughs> it's so funny how everything is aligning with the message. But this is someone who's been wounded and scarred. Do you see that? And instead of giving up... And instead of crumbling or fading away and disappearing, and in, instead of, you know, crawling into the fetal position and giving up on life, this is someone who realizes that certain things happen and they grow from it. This is someone who is wounded but learns from their experiences, and they're not afraid to show that to people. They, they show. They show exactly that to people. And this is a place of strength. This could be seen easily as a weakness or a vulnerability, or someone could look at it as a strength. And this is where the alchemy comes in. It's an alchemical process to use a weakness and turn it into a strength. Make it be your strength. Okay, yeah, something bad happened. But 
are you just going to roll over and waste away? Or are you going to make this into your strength and not give up from this point? So I feel like whoever's been going through this Gemini is highly admired for their strength. And this person cannot see it in themselves. They just don't see it. Not yet. And they're needing to grow into this person. So why is this the unsupportive energy with peace and harmony and you feel something lacking? Uh, the queen of water. And yeah, again, this nine of earth is talking about healing as well. This is healing, like a healing salve, a healing balm even. The emotions here are not being very supportive. Someone does not feel able, capable, willing. Someone actually feels crumbling under pressure. But why? You can become a diamond, okay? If this is you, Gemini, you can become a diamond here. You're on the path for that. If this is someone that you're watching, Gemini, I see that you're quite frustrated that they don't see how wonderful they are. Mm -hmm. This is one of those things that you can't really tell someone what to do because it wouldn't make a difference it's coming from within so your relationship is changing with this version maybe this is an old version of yourself gemini your relationship is changing with who you are you're no longer going to be seen as a victim of circumstance, not even by yourself. You're not going to allow yourself to be showing up this way. You're turning this into your strength. You're becoming a victor. Okay? A victory is here. You're relating with a person in a very different way from this point forward. It's never going to be the same anymore. But you are kind of watching and waiting to see what happens, what comes of this. All right. So let's move forward. I'm going to try to see if this is love. It feels very frustrating. Yeah. If this is your child. I see you really believe in your child. Your child is gifted. Very highly gifted. So what's going on between Gemini and a person? Show me Gemini and the energy today. Show me Gemini. I'm hearing influence. Influence. Someone's influences, good or bad? Meenad, oh, look at you. Why is Gemini? Because call of the night. Look at you getting very excited. Yeah, this is that tension that is building. Creator, there it goes. Catalyst maker, mother, father. This is that catalyst moment that someone grows up. They mature. They go to the next level in life. They level up. They defeat the final boss and then move into a different dungeon to defeat all those bosses, okay? maturation someone's maturing big time someone's glowing up so here you are feeling you're about to burst bursting at the seams okay you're birthing in a new experience and it's coming from a very authentic place this is like that energy that builds up from from earth even from gaia it's nature. It's natural energy that's supposed to be expressed here, but it feels quite suppressed and capped. You're, you're about to burst. Who's the person in the energy? Who is the other person in Gemini's reading today? Mm, nightmare. Psychic protection, shield and bat. Here's the influence. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, I said I'm hearing influence. This is person is being influenced, is highly influenced right now. Someone is trying to influence another, but this person is on the wrong path right now, okay? This is not anybody's place, unless this is like a parental and child energy to be telling people how to live their life, right? So I'm just going to preface that. But I am seeing here that someone is going through a difficult energy. This is scary. Psychic protection, shield, and bad dreams. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This does have to do with travel. Someone could be afraid to travel. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's afraid of uh, being on a, an airplane. Okay. Or they could be afraid to try something new, to go to a new place that's very foreign to them. They may not, they may not feel confident in being able to care for themselves, take, take after themselves, look after themselves. 10, 11 on the clock. 
1011. So this may be someone also that is kind of in a bad way of seeing things. They could feel quite let down or quite like not seeing bright side at all. No bright side. There is no bright side here. What are you talking about? Yes, there is. Okay. There always is. You just have to find it. Sometimes it's more difficult than other times to find it. But this person is somehow influencing others with this energy as well. So this is you, Gemini, making sure that you don't feed it. I see you very concerned about feeding this, this person's maybe mood or feeding their fears because there's fears here. I see... Wow, you see so much here, Gemini. You see so much potential. So I'm actually going to pull a different deck because I feel like we need this for you today. Yeah, let's pull this out is what she said. Show me between Gemini and this person, what is this? What's going on? What's going on, spirit? I'm hearing Candace. Candace, canvas, or yeah, Candace. I don't know. Okay. Change in between the lines. Here it goes. Change. Growth. This is a growth period. It's a cycle. It's one of those cycles of life. I'm telling you, there's some maturation happening here between Gemini and this person. Uh, show me the person. Show me the person. There we go. Breakup. Magnetic attraction. Alluring, less irresistible, and flirting. So you've separated from this individual, Gemini. It does look like they... This is um, a force field of change as well. Definitely this person could have a better time if they found a different way of looking at things. I feel like you know this. This person is being their own worst enemy at this point. That's not to say they're not experiencing a difficult situation. I'm not diminishing that. It does look difficult. But it's one of those moments. Are you going to sink or are you going to swim? Show me Gemini and the energy. Yeah, signs. So you're watching. That's what I'm saying. You feel very guided toward an individual here from what I'm seeing. Okay, you feel that you are tapped in and turned on here to the signs, to the to the universe. You're looking at signs, you're reading the signs, you're really admiring the situation or the potential of the situation even. You feel that something is supposed to happen here and you know it. So, I guess I'll put this here. <laughs> okay, we'll do this. Fine. I want to see Gemini in the energy today. Show me Gemini, please. Hierophant, look at you. And the Ten of Wands. Well, you could feel at times maybe you feel a lot of pressure to do right. You may be feeling this way about this individual. You really want to make sure that you are approaching in the proper way. And that may be a difficult thing to know right now. Because um, on one hand, you have obligations and duties to uphold, is what you're saying. Could be to a community, your family, to whatever that is that you have taken an oath for, that you've sworn into, that you've promised. And you feel very highly pressured to do the right thing. Maybe at times you also feel it could be easier. Why is Gemini and Hierophant? Because of the three of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. You may be very much so right now, Gemini, working for an establishment, working as a team, collaborating with others. It does feel a little frustrating with whoever you're dealing with during this time. You could be enforcing some rules, enforcing the law, enforcing obligations and duties this is how it is okay, i see you doing that business as usual 
Okay. Um, proceed as usual. I promise. So I'm gonna I'm gonna deliver. So who's in the energy? Who is in the energy, please? The judgment. So someone is reviving toward you. The six of wands. Wow. This person is uh, reviving towards you. They're trying to come toward you. Okay. There's a change upon the situation. They have this idea of success. This person is going to have this massive realization and awakening a realization. Yeah, realization. This person doesn't want to fall to your influence. They don't want to listen. They don't want you to impose upon them your beliefs or the way that you think things should be done. There's definitely an obstinance here is what I'm trying to say. It's what it feels. Obstinate. No, I'm not going to do that, Gemini. I'm going to do it this way. Okay? And I'm going to let you know that. But here they are. On the brink of a realization. So how does Gemini see this person? Okay, something's falling out. What is this? The A of Pentacles. Okay, getting with the program here. Yes. All right. So you know that this person is trying to get you to change your mind, to get you to break free from what it is that you're busy with, what it is that you believe. They want you to change your perspective, Gemini. Okay, and you realize this. But you're here steady building and wanting this person to come over to your side. You need to believe like me. You need to do like me. This is how it's worked. You see my success. It's not for nothing. It's because I believe in it. Okay. How this person sees Gemini. Yeah, they see you as well. Oh, there goes the Ten of Wands. Oppressive. Either you are being oppressive to this person in their way of seeing things, or you yourself is being pressured. You yourself is brainwashed. You yourself doesn't know what you're talking about. All right? Yeah, hangman. So you guys are definitely seeing things in a completely different way. Okay. Oh, yeah. You like to do things the right way. Yeah. You do things the right way, Gemini. <laughs> yeah. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. What do you mean? So how does Gemini feel about this person? You feel Six of Cups very endearing. Okay. Six of Cups can indicate children as well. But you feel very soft toward them. And you're trying not to coddle this individual. Or maybe you feel this is someone who has been coddled. <laughs> There's the influence again as well. You feel this person's strength and their courage. You, that you know. You know that this person has strength and courage. Maybe a little misguided at times. Or they put it in the wrong places. Why does Gemini feel the Six of Cups? Because of the Page of Wands. Yeah, here goes that fiery kind of passionate, maybe youthful type of glow or energy as well. You feel that you can trust this person because you see who this is. Not necessarily because they say things or they do things, but you feel at the end of the day, you see this person's authentic being. I know who you are. Like that. How this person feels for Gemini. They feel four of wands. Wow. Well, this is indicating family, of course, the ten of swords. That's your energy. Why did they feel four of wands about Gemini? Because of the star card. And the six of wands. Wow. There's guidance here. A lot of guidance. So yeah, Aquarius 11th house. And the north node. Uh, they're talking about you and the community in which you belong. And how this person may also want to belong. They want to be a part of this belief system. They want to be a part of your community. They want to be a part of your family. They feel guided to do this. Or they're going to be feeling like an awakening of sorts. Maybe through pressure. 
Maybe it's a wake up call. Okay. All right. Wow. What does Gemini want with this person? Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Why? Oh. Six of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. Is this like a, this feels like a pilgrimage or this feels like, again, like a coming of age or some sort of journey that helps someone realize their full potential. This could even be one of those, um, yeah, you know how sometimes, and I'm not remembering what the word is right now, but it's on the tip. When people... It's, a, it's some sort of coming of age ceremony or traveling for this reason, for this purpose, something like that. I just see that you want this person to succeed, that they you feel like they deserve that. They deserve to succeed, whether it means that they build themselves up or they do it with you. You also want yourself to be fully functional on your own, that you're able to do so. You want to be proud. This person also wants to be proud. What does this person want with Gemini? They want the Eight of Cups. They want to quit the Empress. So this is someone that if they're not seeing any kind of growth with you or the situation that they don't see, maybe a future in that way, they want to quit. Why do they want the Eight of Cups? Because of the devil, they feel very oppressed. Yep. Interesting. So here we have in this reading, Gemini, someone's being outcast from a group. They want to belong, but now they're realizing the dynamics here between you and them or this group in them that's casting them out and why they're bad. They feel shunned. They feel shamed. Whoever this is, maybe this is vice versa, like I said. However, this person is feeling like, okay, your your group is too good for me. Now I'm a devil. Like you guys are painting me as a devil. You paint me as the black sheep. I'm the person that doesn't belong here. I'm the person who has a problem because I don't fit in with you in your group system, your group dynamic. Okay. This is very problematic because you guys will not come to the same page in the coming period. This is not it. You guys are not going to be seeing things the same way. This is one of those energies where you're like, I'm trying to build a happy union relationship. And they're saying me too. But I cannot subscribe to what it is you have subscribed to. Or I don't believe these same things that you believe. These, this is not my value, my morals. No. And so here you have an impasse. Let's see what's going to happen next. Uh, let me see about this devil really quick, what they're saying. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, another Gemini. Maybe a Pisces. I don't know, though. Could be a little splash of Pisces in there. Show, show me this devil card that this person's referring the Six of Pentacles, yeah. Power. They feel that people just want power and control. That whatever this Hierophant institution or this company, okay, or this um, religious institution is, whatever it is, it could be a company too. You guys just want power and control and you're holding the power and control on purpose. So here they thought that they were aligned and guided towards you and now they feel like they're being controlled. One more on this person or guided toward this group. I don't feel this is, um, this feels like this person wants you to support them or be on their side or believe them or like, um, back me up, Gemini. And you're saying no, because I signed up for this company and that's my job to back up the company or no, because I have a duty or obligation to the family. That's my first duty. I can't just be an outlier. It's almost like someone wants you to be the black sheep with them or to be outcast with them and experience that as well. But 
here you have safety in numbers or safety in um, continuity. You have safety in and protection in a group situation that you can count on here. You have stability and security. This person is not experiencing this. They're, they're experiencing scarcity and also being ostracized from a group. Have you ever... Um, you ever learned how back in the day being ostracized from a group for humans because we are community-based kind of people like humans are being ostracized or being outcast and being dejected and rejected from a group is life or death and that's why it feels so deeply and strongly for people to be rejected especially from a group dynamic because this is a life or death situation that's been passed down in the dna like we feel okay if i'm outcast from this group i might not make it i might not make it because you know just me on my own how am i gonna provide for myself how am i gonna eat how am i gonna have shelter just like basic needs the hierarchy of needs here and we're talking basic base level here so the princess of cups what is this here Mm, peace yeah so the ten of pentacles yeah well could be that someone's being kicked out of like a contract of a will someone is being written out of a lease out of yeah some form of a formal agreement or relationship belief system you got me that's what's happening and they're feeling it's not fair so we have someone kind of a little bit frantic here today. So what will be occurring between Gemini and this person in the coming period? The six of pentacles. Hope. And okay, so yeah, the moon again. Moon energy is quite heavy. The heartache and loss is here. Mm, where's Gemini in this? Yeah, I see that you have fingers crossed. You have desire for someone finding themselves and you also finding yourself being autonomous and knowing yourself in that way. What, where's the person in the coming period here? Where's the person? Spiritual strength. Yeah, no, another number nine. Again, this is like a spiritual pilgrimage or something. Truth. So this is judgment. This person is going to realize that they are an outlier and they're going to find strength in this or they need to okay this is like nine of pentacles energy nine of wands actually yeah this is the nine of wands you came out with the nine of pentacles this is that strength that fortitude that self-belief that's what's being cultivated with this individual they really need to get their life in order they're going to realize this it feels like it happens with a flash like this like oh my gosh one moment i'm a part of this and the next moment i'm kicked out what am i gonna do okay vice guidance words of wisdom for gemini regarding this or otherwise spirit what you got choose wisely gemini okay yeah triumph that's um chariot and firm foundation right Choose wisely what your foundation looks like. Choose wisely the people that you have around you. Looks like you are considering that. But how relationships are supportive to you as well as others and how they're not. Maybe how things are out of whack. I remember I told you something about enabling um, in a prior reading. So make sure that somebody is not enabling another person to maintain Mm, immaturity maybe somebody feels emasculated um, enabling someone to maintain their youth way past the due date this could be like peter pan syndrome for example um one second yes sir oh. Cat visitors. Cats love doing readings. Okay.
So, advice, guidance, words of wisdom for Gemini regarding this. Or otherwise, spirit, what does Gemini need to know or what would be supportive to Gemini through this? Fertility. Mikhail? Mikhail? Hmm. Maybe it's like that. Fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. Godfather the generous. Wow. You've been more than generous, huh? Is it time that you realize this? You may be, you know, having to side with someone that you have an oath or a vow or promise to and another person is realizing this you will have peace if you are married you will find peace there and this is about maintaining that peace and really finding that solid foundation and holding on to it and knowing that you can count on this so if this is not marriage per se spiritually energetically speaking it could be Whatever you have committed to, you've committed yourself to this, this higher font. And it's going to bring you peace. So bottom of the deck, we have Mebahel, Eight of Swords, it says, Truth and justice, protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. So yeah, I do see that someone is being kicked out because maybe, like I said, there could be... um. Uh, somewhat of a dependence here i remember in your past couple readings maybe the past maybe three readings there's been someone who has needed to get their life in order financially speaking and that maybe you've been you've been enabling someone to take it easy or maybe you're getting ready to cut someone off and stop okay so yeah this wanted to come out five of wands Ha-ya. Ha-ya, probably. God listening in concealment. Oh, you're hearing stuff in private. You can overhear someone right now. You can hear someone's thoughts, Gemini. I feel like you know this person very well. I do. I feel like you know how they are. Like there's something very, um, yeah, knowing about you and this person. So politics and ambition wins judgments and protects all those who seek the truth. There's truth here. Someone needs more ambition. This person needs to have more ambition. They need to grow up. Um, you know, whatever they are, whoever they are, doesn't matter. This is someone growing up. Thank you so much, Gemini. Feel free to check your other places. I'll see you next time.